grandma of YouTube gives you DIY pillow shamans. Everyone likes a good DIY, right? Today, we're making some pillow shams. So I have a sewing basket, I have my fabric, I have a sewing machine, pins and <laughs> uh, tape measure, sewing scissors, and like a pen or something. The first step is to take pictures of all the fabrics that you want to match with. I went ahead and did that yellow and teal I'm matching and a picture of the blanket on my bed that you can like hold it up to the fabric and see if it would look good together. Um, it just makes it way easier than trying to like remember it all because step two, learn how to sew. <laughs> step three, go to the fabric store and get your fabric. Cheers to free coffee day at Aroma Joe's. <laughs> Speaking of free, you know what else is free? Subscribing to my channel. All right, we have fabric. I picked this velour floral print. Just thought it was really pretty. It held all the right colors. I was looking for a pattern and I mean, so soft. I do think that this might be a little bit tricky to work with because it's like, really slippery, but we're gonna give it a go. <laughs> Step four is to measure. You're gonna need your tape measure thingy. What do you call these? You're gonna need your ruler stuff. So I'm gonna measure 28 and a half this way and 23 this way. And I'm gonna lay this out flat. Hey, nope. Frickin' kids. I like to make a couple of marks just because I have kind of a hard time cutting straight. Raise your hand if you can't cut straight. We are ready for step five. Cut. So here's one piece. So this is the front. And now what you're gonna do is you wanna make two back pieces, one a little longer than the other because you want them to overlap. So you can stuff your pillow in there and they'll overlap and it just looks nice. Um, this isn't anything fancy. I'm doing these like, they're kind of more like pillowcase style pillow shams. So back to our fabric. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making pillow shams. Welcome to being 97 million years old. I'm like not the most precise person. I'm an Aries. <laughs> so I just kind of like good enough is good enough. So this aside, step six is to iron, but this velour isn't really the type of fabric that needs to be ironed. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip that part, which really goes with my aesthetic because I <laughs> hate ironing. And I'm gonna go straight to step seven, which is to pin the pieces together. You wanna lay it out so the fronts of the fabrics are touching print to print so for this pillow sham you want the smaller piece underneath and the bigger piece on top so after you have it laid out you want to pin it just taking pins tucking them in now that everything's pinned together we are ready for step eight so that <laughs> Do what I've done. BRB. Okay, I'm back with a new battery, more wine, 
and the realization that this is gonna be a lot <laughs> harder than I thought, specifically because of the fabric I chose. Great. <laughs> So now that it's sewed, you want to turn it right side out, which I guess arguably would be step nine. You are ready for step 10. We got our pillow, we got our sham. Let's see how we did. There you have it, one beautiful, Hello, Shan. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for giving a damn about Don't Give a Jam.